Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm gonna review and demo the new CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers Mascara. Now this is what the packaging looks like. Um, I actually do really like the packaging a lot better than the original Super Sizer. I just really like the purple. Purple is my color. But this mascara is roughly $7.99 depending on where you're able to find it and if there's any deals going on. But it is the typical drugstore mascara price range. This is the second mascara in the CoverGirl Super Sizer line. And this one is supposed to be very similar to that one, the original but it does have fibers in it, which will give you a little bit more length and volume in your lash look. So this is what the wand looks like, just straight out of the tube. Um, it does have that kind of interesting wand on it where the bristles are kind of spaced far apart. There's like a flat side and then a side with some bristles on it. It's a very um, interesting wand and it will work for some people and it will not work for others. So me, the original CoverGirl Super Sizer, I hated it. I really wanted to like it because everyone else seemed to love it, but it just did not work for me. The formula was very, very wet. It clumped up like crazy on me. I did not feel like I got a whole lot of length or volume out of it. It was just kind of a hot mess and the wand on it just did not work for me at all. Now this one, I will say the formula is again very wet just like the other one and I do feel like there's a lot of product on the wand whenever you take it out. Um, if you can see as I go around here, there's some little clumpy, you know, action on it. I do have to knock some of it off on the edge of the tube whenever I go to use this like this um, because I just don't like that much mascara to be deposited onto my lashes right off the bat. So we're going to get into the demo right now. Um, you're just going to see me. I already have one eye on and you're going to see me apply it to this eye over here and I'm going to do it on top and bottom and then we're going to come back here and I'm going to tell you what I really think of it. just saw the demo and as you could see on the second coat it really did start to clump up a little bit on the inner half of my eye and it was a situation that I definitely could not just leave based on my own preferences. I don't like the clumpy lash look and I really like them to be fanned out and kind of separated and lengthened. So I did have to go in with my Real Techniques um, lash groomer thing and kind of comb out as much of the clumps as I could. I think it did do a good job at removing the clumps, but my personal preference is just to not have a clumpy mascara to begin with. So that is something to keep in mind that the clumpy factor is going to be an issue um, more than likely. Now as for the fibers that are in here, whenever I originally opened this up and looked at the wand, I could see just a few little fibers poking out um, from the formula on the wand. And I was like, okay, this could work. And then as I'm using it, I've used it for about a week now, as I'm using it, I just am not seeing really many fibers coming out. And I feel like this formula probably has very, very few of them in here, which kind of defeats the purpose. If I want a fiber mascara, I really want it to have a lot of fibers so that I can get that lengthened and volumized look from them. But the good part is that because there are so few fibers in here, I have not had any eye irritation from them poking into my eyeball. That does happen quite often with fiber mascaras. For me, I have to be careful of getting it too close to the base of my lashes because then if there's any stray fibers, they can go and poke the um, inside of my eye and then it gets kind of really red and meh, you know. So I do like the fiber lash mascaras but I do have to be careful with them. So this one I have not had any problems with that, 
but I do wish that there were actually more fibers in the formula. Um, so I feel like uh, if you're going to call it a fiber mascara, then it needs to have more than like three fiber hairs in it. Okay. So while I am not too pleased with how it applied to my upper lashes, my top lashes, I do really like the way that it applied to my bottom lashes. I thought that it gave them some nice um, definition and separation and a little bit of length. So that was really good. I would definitely still use this on my bottom lashes. However, the caveat to that is that I get a lot of smudging with this product and a good amount of flaking. So that kind of kills it for me right there. Um, the flaking starts within an hour or so of wearing it and then I notice by like noontime, lunchtime or so, I've got a lot of smudging on the outer corners of my eyes and it just is not a very cute look. It's just a really um, high maintenance mascara for what it is and I'm just I'm not sold on it. I did not like the first one and I don't like this one and I think it's just going to be one of those mascaras where if you liked the first one you're definitely gonna like this one because it's pretty much exactly the same um, because of the fiber content being so low but if you did not like the first one then you're probably not gonna like this one and you can save yourself the eight bucks because it's just not worth it for me now I will tell you, the mascara that I have been loving, loving lately, um, is the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. I feel like, even though this is more of a volumizing mascara, I get more length out of this mascara than I do out of the CoverGirl one. And then another CoverGirl one that I do like, and that is pretty much my go-to drugstore mascara at this point, is the Clump Crusher Extensions in the green tube. That one is really, really good, and I really like that one. Holy Grail Drugstore Mascara at this point. So keep those two alternatives in mind if you are looking for a different mascara. And then I also have the um, two videos down or so. I have a high-end mascara roundup where I tested out 10 different high-end mascaras, and check that out if you wanna see any of those mascara reviews. So that is it for this one. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you got um, some good information out of it and it helped you make a decision on whether you really need this or not. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye. What is it? I'm just rambling. I am a rambler. We'll, we'll.